right, let's get this party started at the top right of Daybreak in the red colors. The Terran, a player from old generations. It is... Stardale Virus! Oh. Yeah, well, that was a, quite a blunder, so not from old generations, a little bit too early. There was a last player, I'm sorry for that. Stardale Virus, obviously. My bad. But at the bottom left, we have the Team Liquid player. Liquid Zinio. That was embarrassing. Ah, it's fine. It happens to everyone. Sometimes I say the wrong player's name in a group situation like this, and I realize I've said the the Terran player that was previously. I I like should I correct myself? And I'm just like ah, probably nobody really noticed. <laughs> <laughs> and then you check Team Liquid, and everybody is like, oh Everybody's my god, like, what did why you do? Why is Wolf keep calling him that? I'm like ah, guys, I know who it really is. <laughs> <laughs> I like the barracks placement for. Virus, he's just trying to kill the Overlord, and lately most Zerg players don't fall for that. They actually use their Overlord in order to scout the second base and take another more safer route, but Zenyu is heading straight for that high ground, and if the drone doesn't scout that and doesn't force Zenyu to re-rally the Overlord, then the Overlord will die to the first two Marines. Yeah, very true. And in fact, right now, Zenio did not scout that. He may be thinking that it's a, going to be a command center first, especially with seeing this SCV go down like this. The correct timing. Oh, he is actually completely unaware. Now sees what's going on. And is he reacting with his Overlord? Yes, he is. Immediately upon spotting that barracks, the Overlord is heading to the bottom right, trying to go to safety. I like that. Yeah, it's really smart by both players. And Virus is now going to be able to make a safe command server. Checks for the Overlord, does not see it. Oh, and he's scouting for the Overlord though, and he will be able to take down the Overlord nonetheless. Very well played by Virus. And Zenyu is wishing right now that he uh, would have taken the safer route from the beginning. Yeah. Unfortunate, but either oh. way, I think he would have gotten it. And the Overlord is it able to escape? escape. It's hard to say. I don't think he'll be able to escape. It's going to be a close one though. Oh, wow! Does escape. Wow! <laughs> 22 hit points left. Nice. I love that StarCraft 2 is becoming like this so much so that these very little things are so intricate and important. And Virus, Virus looks a little confused, man. <laughs> Virus is getting greedy now. One barracks expand into double, react uh, into double refinery. Considering the situation, I think it makes sense. But yeah, it is a little bit greedy. And the Marine is still checking everywhere to try to find that Overlord. It's just not going to happen. That Overlord's going to sit up on his pedestal for the rest of his days, man. He's never moving. <laughs> he's and like, I'm retired now. Has anyone asked me to go scout to see if he's going for racks? I'm not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will just refuse. I'm scared. <laughs> he's scared, man. He should be. <laughs> I'd be scared, too. You know, he's, he's getting a little bit older. He's an older Overlord. He's got low hit points right now. He's a veteran. He doesn't have a speed upgrade either, guys. He's probably like, yeah, we can talk about it as soon as I have a full <laughs> HP again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Well, right now, good scouting by Zenio, nonetheless. Was able to spot that barracks, sort of figure things out, save the Overlord. Does not, however, get the chance to see the second factory here. So, right now, any number of things could happen. We In fact, Virus, yeah, he could fall with the double reactor yeah. to factory. We've seen that a couple of times, and if you don't scout that, and suddenly you have like 8 to 12 Hellions in your base, that one spine crawler that you usually get won't do you any good at all, and that's exactly what Virus is going for. The second reactor is coming up. And finally, I've been talking about this for so long, and thank you so much, Virus. He is patrolling with a Marine at the left side of the map in order to deny scouting, and that is so smart. There are so many Terran players who neglect to do that. They try to go for a double starport, double reactor factory alien, something like that, and they don't patrol with the Marine at the side. The Overlord spots it, and the Zerg player reacts perfectly and negates that. Yeah, I completely agree. It's, you know, something like you're just, just like you're saying, it's so important to hide it. An armory going down as well, so we're going to see a mech follow up to this. In fact, he may even not switch. Well, he is going to switch. I was going to say that would be a little bit crazy. But yeah, he is going to follow up with the Thor play. Do some mech stuff. Maybe just aiming mech for around. the quick plus one. Yeah, also very possible. Yep, that's what he's doing right now, getting the quick, uh, quick plus one to pressure the Zerg player even more. 
Roaches are being built though for Virus and that is not what Virus Virus was hoping for. Yeah, I mean... Uh, for Xenio, sorry. The Roaches for Xenio and Virus, obviously. Of course. A little bit in trouble when he does not... Um, how many does he actually get? He's just trying to pressure a little bit, doesn't he? Yeah, he's getting a total of, it looks like, seven. That's going to be seven Roaches total. And Virus continuing to do a great job hiding his heli as his opponent does not know the count right now. And it looks like the heli gets forced back at least temporarily here. He does have a decent counter, but that's going to allow him to hold off this aggression really easily. But it does shut him down from moving out on the map. So either way, Zinio's pressure here is going to really win out for him. Third base being built for Zenio, scouted by his opponent. Here are a couple of those roaches. So many Hellions are going to make quick work of them, though. And he now realizes what's happening. Zenio scouted the Hellions. He knows what's happening. Attacking Tulea and building more and more roaches. He should probably get a lot of them now in order to wall off properly. I'm actually surprised that he doesn't get any SimCity going for him right now, that we don't see some uh, evolution chambers being built. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised as well. He already has one at Evo Chamber in his main, but even so, you know, it'd be good to see a macro hatchery or something to block, at least moving his queen to the position. But he's just not doing that right now, and the Hellions are upon him. There are a decent amount of roaches here, but will it be enough? Yeah, it should be. Should be able to fend that one off. And Virus, he put so much minerals, so much time in that, into that, that uh, right now it's a really tough situation just because Xenio is able to negate that completely. There's just no damage that Virus can deal with that. He has the map control for now, but Xenio is already on three bases and has a huge amount of roaches to deal with that. Yeah, he's got plus one for those Hellions just now finishing up, but that's not gonna be significant enough to make this push really work. Gonna have to turn around with those Hellions. Trying to go on two sides, really good multitasking from Virus. But this build really does put you very far behind if it does not do any damage. He's already started double Thor production right now with plus two vehicle weapons on the way. I'm but waiting for Blue Flame. Yeah, it's a little bit surprising he's not gotten that Blue Flame upgrade, especially considering that he's got two open tech labs to research it on. Spire attack for Xenio. He's going for the Spire, going for plus one melee. Oh, t adding 10 additional drones that would will put him at 67 versus 50. And third base now for Virus being built as well. Indeed. Now Virus moving around the top left side of the map with his Hellions to try to sneak actually into the third base, but there are still some roaches waiting for him there. Still, I like that Virus is trying to do things like this, forcing a spine crawler as well, keeping Xenio stuck in his base, feeling really defensive. Did Virus actually scan the Spire or did he just go for the Engineering Bay because he knew that it might be time to get some defenses against uh, his opponents? It was just mutilist play. Yeah, it was just his uh, knowledge of the timings, I think. He did not scout at all into the main base. He didn't really even know that there's a lair right now, so he is actually just doing this with really nice timing. He already had the Thors in the way. Blue Flame. Yep, there's the Blue Flame. Plus two going to finish for his third and fourth Thor to come out. He may actually want to go with the timing with Blue Flame plus two and a few Thors. I'd really like to see him possibly attack that third base. With the amount of the roaches that Xenio has, it makes perfectly sense for Virus to get that siege tank upgrade as well. The more roaches there are, the more siege tanks you want to have so that you just can pressure the roaches as well. Because roaches are the perfect counter to a Thor Hellion mix if you mix in some Banelings to kill SCVs, to kill the Hellions as well. So. See how that's going to work out. How many of them will Virus build? While well, Zenio is getting speed upgrade, plus one armor for his units. Nice little encounter. Yeah. Little map. I'd like to see Virus repair his Hellions. The majority of his Hellions are in red hit points right now. And as I say that, he pulls SCBs to repair them immediately. I'm starting to realize, well, this is probably important that I do this. Oscar the Overlord moved, by the way. That's very true. He's now doing his new job as a expansion blocker. Yep, spreading creep at the bottom right, and his hit points nearly fully healed, so finally responding to Xenio's commands again. <laughs> well, right now, Virus has taken a fairly open third base. He has a very strong army to defend it, but it's a very slow army, so Xenio could try to take advantage of that. Meanwhile, Xenio is taking the top left hatchery, and in fact, it's actually just kind of continuing to pressure with his roaches. I like that because it doesn't make Virus feel comfortable. He may even catch some Hellions here, and in fact, he definitely will, killing a few of these Hellions and some SCVs. Meanwhile, Muna's in the main. 
Trying to take down that refinery, and that is so smart. You want to kill your opponent's ability to take gas, to get gas if you are facing a mech play, because mech is just so expensive when it comes down to gas, and he's not even trying to take down that engineering bay. I don't agree with that at all, because that Thor will be able to kill him. There's another attack at the bottom right, though. We have the blue flame hellions trying to defend against the roaches. Yeah, uh, defense they do. Fires for Aspen. Shut down pretty hard there. Gonna lose a lot of roaches. Is he expanding at the bottom right? Looks like he's going to. <laughs> That's cheeky. Well, you know, it's unusual, but it could work in this case. The most obvious next expansion for Virus is gonna be the one towards the middle so that he can defend and attack much more easily, much more quickly. Um, as well, more quickly. Ah, <laughs> like, I speak English, guys. It's gone up to five. <laughs> Five factories Don't in this worry main about base. It, your English is way better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold that thought because these Hellions are going to get trapped. The fuse certainly is going down, but Zenio's Mutalist Force has now been spotted. I'd really like to see Virus move out, but I think he's just trying to do what most players do, wait for that max out mech army and then go. Yeah. He's, by the way, also getting the plus three attack upgrade while Zenyu is now researching plus two armor. So more Thors and tanks are being built and the tank count is now up to four, getting two additional ones, which will put him to six tanks. Uh, indeed. And having those tanks in there, like you mentioned earlier, is just so nice. When the Roach count gets high, it's great to have that extra DPS in there, AoE damage. And, you know, Zenyu right now is actually 12 Banelings. That's a decent amount. That's not too many. That's going to be able to do damage to Hellions if they connect. He scouted the base at the bottom right, by the way. But some of the tanks have been caught out of position. And now Virus is moving back. The Banelings go in, take a lot of those. Oh, look at the Thor skin obliterated. Zenyo is crushing him. Yeah, it's looking pretty bad for Virus right now. He lost all of his Thors. A decent amount of Mutalists were killed, but the most important part of Virus's army was were those stores. They're very slow, they're expensive to make, they take a long time. The Banelings went in, killed, did some initial damage, and uh, all hopes of SCVs repairing vanished with that as well. The Roaches with its one-shots on the remaining stores. That was really, really something. 200 supply now for Zenio. Virus is down to 130, has to lift up his third base, and he is struggling so hard, but Zenio is getting He's getting dropped, he's getting overload speed, all those upgrades, he's taking like crazy, getting into his opponent's main base with the Zergling, trying to pressure Virus even more. Yeah, he's doing a decent amount of damage here, but with these repairing SCBs, it's not really going to be cost efficient anymore for him to continue this attack. He's actually going for it though, not really doing a whole lot with these Zergs at this point. Zenyu is losing quite a bit, but still in the commanding lead thanks to his uh, six bases now. He has yeah, six bases and his opponent is back on two. Does he have mining at his natural still? And in fact, uh, yeah, he's still mining his natural. Both players mining at their naturals. Of course, Virus with a lot of mules there. Zenio not having his natural as his primary expansion at this point. And the base at the bottom right remains alive, and so does the Overlord, but no mining there whatsoever. It's a good place to rally from, though, I have to say. I kind of like that. Overlord speed is done, huh? Overlord drop ability will finish in a second and then he can drop into his opponent's main base. He added an infestation pit as well. I think, the he's, lands too. I think he's actually going to drop Banelings on top of Thor's with SCVs around him. I think that's what we're going to see. Here we go! He may attack now! Trying to take down uh, those few remaining mech units going for the tanks, finishing uh, this to uh, these Thor's. Yep, that is not working well for Virus. Then you're doing a really, really good job. The Bailing's going into the back. Oh, GG, but he's killing the SCVs just for fun. Well, that is that. Zenio, he's not out of it yet. Lost two games already. Uh, sorry, Virus lost two games, and Zenio is now on one win and one loss. Yeah, Virus did a decent job, I have to say, in that game, but he lost that one key engagement. And I think that really spelled disaster for him after that. And he was behind from the start because his Hellions did not do a lot of damage. And when you when you do a build like that, you don't do any damage. Even though you have map control, it's not as valuable as being able to deal with the Mulas harass and be able to move around the map. Because when the Mutas come out, if you only have that many, you have a ton of Hellions out. It just doesn't matter how many Hellions you have because you can't move around the map freely. And Zenio just took so many bases all over the map and eventually just had too much stuff. He just kept throwing armies at him until he died.
Yeah, the problem really was for Virus that he just couldn't do any damage at all with Hellions. We've seen players, we've seen a lot of Zerg players die to double Reactor Factory Hellions. So this time it didn't do any economic damage at all because there were always the Roaches. And I really like that Zenyu split his Roach army so that he could defend the third base and his main and second as well. Sometimes we saw Virus just splitting his army, trying to sneak into the main, but... Zenyu was ready for that, blocked the ramp, was there with the Hellions, and there was just nothing that Virus could do. He didn't deal the damage that he was supposed to. Three bases for the Zerg player, getting everything he needed to counter the mech army after that. Yeah, and I, I mean, this, or excuse me, uh, I'm like losing my mind. Zenyu, Elsira is playing next against Polt, that's what I was going to say, and then I just want to say... It's going to be a good one, by the way. Yeah, this is, well, I should just move into talking about this. We can, we've talked enough about what, uh, what Zenyu did last game, so the map is going to be yet again Belcher Beach, so look forward to that. And I think this is going to be the most exciting match, perhaps, of the night, because these are, I think, the, the top two players in the group. And I, when they collide here, it's going to be exciting to see who comes out on top. Both of them have one win and one loss so far. There they are. To the right, we have Holt, his opponent, Mazira. Incredible miracle on the left. Belcher Beach, once again, the map for TVZ. Quite an exciting one. Two losses in the group is a pretty tough situation to be in. Very true. Both these players losing to unique Inca strategies, in fact. That's yeah, one thing exactly. they have in common. <laughs> Inca, the only one with uh, no losses so far, and we are heading into the game, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere. Now, this is the end.